The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. This is what John the Baptist proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So each and every one of us, depending on our position and state in life, we all have certain responsibilities that correspond to each of us individually. Now, that it could be just as much dependent on where you work, your state in life, whether you're husband and wife, a student, even... Again, in our professions, carpenter, whatever whatever it might be, whatever it might happen to be. We all, through these different states and positions that we hold, we all have to have, in order to complete the tasks that are set before us, in order to fulfill our responsibilities based on where we find ourselves, we all have to have the knowledge the wisdom to be able to carry out our responsibilities and we have to have the tools the tools necessary to help us complete our work so for myself um, my dad he's been for many many years a master carpenter just about anything that could be built out of wood he's, he's done it at some point throughout the years my dad, in little ways and little projects here and there, he has tried to help me learn at least a little bit of what carpentry looks like. He has his shed full of his tools and he has a mind full of wisdom and knowledge. And throughout the years, even just in little bits here and there, he has shared that with me. And I have grown all the wiser and more capable because of it. Through the example of a teacher, through their wisdom, and through their ability to use the tools necessary, a student learns how to work. A student learns how to think. This is the main point as to why our God, why Jesus himself, went to the Jordan to be baptized. It is not because he himself needed it. Jesus being God, being perfect in every way, there was not the necessity for him to be baptized. Rather, It was not that he would be able to be cleansed by the water, but it was so that Christ could cleanse the water, which ultimately all of us as a Christian people have the opportunity, we are given the invitation to share in those cleansing waters. It is through this example of Christ, it is through this sacrament that he has provided for us in baptism that the Lord opens the doors for us, that the Lord opens the path for us to be his beloved sons and daughters it is through baptism that we have the opportunity then to receive the rest of the sacraments always and everywhere beginning with baptism Because the vocation of being a lifelong Christian, of being a lifelong Catholic, 
again, kind of with the way that I've described it now, the fact that it is a lifelong process of learning. It is for this reason that we, as a Catholic people in a particular way, hold to the truth that even as children, even as infants, we are able to receive this most holy and beautiful gift from our God. For many of our other brother, uh, Christian brothers and sisters, there is something of a confusion there. Christ himself was baptized as an adult. Why would we not do the same in general? However, again, the fact of the matter is, Christ was baptized as a way of opening the door for us. Again, he did not have sin in any way. We, on the other hand, are born with original sin. And even that sin of Adam and Eve that comes down to us through the generations, even that the Lord desires to strip away from us from the earliest moment that we can, the Lord desires to remove any kind of impediment of sin from our souls and from our hearts. From the earliest moments, there is not a single moment in which the Lord would desire for us to push off His forgiveness, His love, and His salvation. Today, on this feast of the baptism of the Lord, it would be good and important for us to recognize the responsibility that we have as a Christian people. It would be good for us to recognize the dignity that we have as sons and daughters of God. This is something that, although it is open, to all, this is something that should not be taken lightly. This is something that we should hold in reverence much more than we actually do. If you have the way of finding out, I think it would be an interesting exercise. I think it would be a beneficial little project if we could find out the date of our baptism. If we could find perhaps the name of the priest or deacon who baptized us. And when we find out, if we could take a moment to give thanks to God for this opportunity, for this beautiful gift, and to pray for the priest or deacon who baptized us, to pray for them as they kind of guided us into this new life, into this Christian way of living. That through the example today of the baptism of the Lord, that we might recognize within ourselves the importance of our own baptism. That we can truly look upon the face of God and recognize that He looks at each and every one of us individually and says, You are my beloved son, or you are my beloved daughter. With you, I am well pleased. 